Hello, I'm uh, Francois Saussy, vascular surgeon in Switzerland, and I'm the current chairman of uh, the ESVS library platform. So it's digital learning for the, uh, the society, the European Society of Vascular Surgery. So yeah, I think that right now we are moving more to digital learning. So uh, the uh, society, uh, the European Society of Vascular Surgery, uh, aim to develop this digital learning with a dedicated platform in the website of the, the SVS. And uh, since few years right now, we are pushing more and more to digital learning. Digital learning is not only uh, videos, it's also podcasts, it's also virtual vascular chapters which are developed within the website of the uh, uh, ESVS and also uh, dedicated also to workshops and also to congresses where you have the possibility to watch once more the workshops or the, the annual meeting or whatever kind of topics. And uh, this platform is also great because you can really select the topics that you want to see. And also we have right now the possibility to have some modules interactive modules. Uh, for the first one, it would be on CLTI, uh, so uh, critical limb uh, threatening uh, ischemia, and the treatment. So this module has CME credits. Not this one, but the next one will have CME credits. And the next one that we want to develop also is uh, about carotids and also aortic uh, disease. And why we are right now moving to this kind of uh, interactive modules? Because uh, the next year, in 2024, uh, will be launched the next PAD and AAA guidelines of the society. And uh, therefore, we think that uh, this is a great capacity and great possibility for the learners to have this kind of modules and to, to interact also, to have some questions, some quiz at the end of the module. So this is one part of the, of the, the website. The other part is about podcasts. We have a, a huge amount of podcasts right now available on the society and also, I think, also some great videos. So I think right now, digital learning from societies are really important. You can have an online education. You don't have to go to congresses, even if it's, of course, still very important but you have this possibility to, 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 to see, to, to watch new videos, innovative techniques, and this is, I, I think it's a, it's a great, uh, great challenge for, for, for the future. I think congresses still keep to be very, are very important, um, of course, uh, but I think also uh, digital learning is coming more and more, and probably also intelligent, artificial, artificial intelligence will be probably also also something that will promote this kind of digital learning in the future. So I think both are totally complementary at that time.